Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Phoenix Point Blighton playthrough where I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with uh, no information whatsoever beforehand. It is pretty sure <clears throat> that we're now in the mid game, late mid game, maybe even. And a lot of attacks are happening, such as on Fort Liberty. And we have brought. First of all, it's attacking strength 10, so not that problematic. And we've brought the C team with us. Uh, Vanessa has uh, taken the spot of JP Pauly. Uh, it still has a bit of a questionable equipment overall, but I think we're going to be okay. Hopefully. Famous last words. We got Incivinci who now also has a berserker training so per definition she could she could actually use melee weapons which we of course don't have any any to spare that is quite unfortunate but she also can use pistols and i'm wondering if i should give her one because here's the logic oftentimes we don't have the uh, time units left over for uh, a, a full shot with a heavy weapon so a sidearm isn't too bad and she can also get rid of um, all of uh, the armor of the enemy very close to a new class with Kenai, Kyle Kenai equally close to a class, uh, new class with Anthony by the way, just out of curiosity, ooh, we could give them this. It's not bad. I wonder, is that also available? Sorry, f uh, but I need to test that. So the answer is that you can only and only mount it on these Golem, Golem B body armors. So. Having the option for that is also very, very interesting. I thought we had more ammunition. Apparently that is not the case. But yeah, that solves our problem uh, with explosives. Good, we got Justin Backbite, uh, Backbiter here. Not really great armor. I don't like the Infiltrator armor. It's good for stealth, I give you that. Like, his stealth is plus 50, which is fantastic. But I'm still having a problem finding the right utilization of this class. It's not like the Reaper in XCOM. Well, and then Vanessa. This is just a garage sale hodgepodge of items that we do have available. And since she has 25 uh, points, might as well increase her survivability. Same here. I want to be at that 200 hit point mark. Might be arbitrary. And I might also be wrong, but it has served us very well in the past. Good, we landed and we immediately are greeted with artillery. Nice. So my point with the with um, the hit points is actually uh, quite straightforward. The hit points in my perspective are a buffer of uh, simply helping you to compensate for bad plays or for mistakes and i'm doing a lot of mistakes still <clears throat> so naturally having a little Targeting. bit more cushion is actually quite helpful nice 
nice, 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 nice. That was Let's a show fantastic what we can do. hit. We have here. Ready. more armor penetration. No, potentially not, not yet. I'm on the move. Vanessa moves up. Finger on the trigger. Not really good with hitting tar uh, with hitting stuff. Ready to engage. Injured, but alive. Good. Removing more armor over time. That hurt, didn't it? In this case, we don't need to use our sniper. Eyes peeled. So wait a second. Uh, that is what allows them to shoot the poison worms. We've just removed from the first one. Okay, need to find. I've got this. A a good way of removing it from the second one as well. 40 armor, not good. Rolling. Ready to rock. Resisted the stun. Hostile now. But yeah, an absence of being able to to actually kill the worms of the second one. Might as well try to go for its torso. In the meantime... Yeah. We're continuing to try to bully them. Okay, decent first round. I mean, we killed one of uh, their one of their worms or worm artilleries. It's just not dead yet, but the main skill that they are using is gone. Showtime. I see the suckers. And yeah, as per the usual New Jericho super aggressive, she's running in, standing in the open, hitting things, but that's okay, I mean, they are going to be our flash shield at this point. So far I've not seen any major enemy that we couldn't deal with, which is reinsuring. Quite reinsuring actually. This guy is firmly in the way, unfortunately. There we go, that's the first uh, siren. Goes without saying that we can't let that happen. Oh! Couple of fireworms that are dropped down. I don't know if they can climb stairs. I think they cannot. And our newcomer, of course, is being greeted acquiring target target nice enemy hit i 
as problem solved. Good, Vanessa will heal herself next turn. I think we're fine. These are acid worms. Channel open. Moving up to prevent them uh, from coming up to us. Hmm. I think we need to get that big guy out of the way first. And that means we simply need to deal 300 points of damage. Lining up a shot. No, I want to wait because he would he would uh, mm, reduce armor with his uh, shots. Lining up a shot. Good. Now. Receiving loud and clear. Acquiring target. It's not too bad. We can deal with that. Ha! Removing armor. Steady. All right. <clears throat> Who knows? This might work. But that means lots of armor is reduced. <coughs> yeah. Problem is armor is reduced everywhere. We've now killed two legs. Just want to get the close. Horse is also down. Come. <clears throat> Removing more armor. The head is still standing. The other guy is blocking, unfortunately. So yeah. we're just dealing normal damage and are overwatching. All right, end of turn. Sure time. Good. New Jericho is keeping each other alive. That's not bad. Well, we just found a new enemy. Talked about how we would heal ourselves next turn, but not the case. We now have been solidly mind controlled, so that takes precedence. I hate mind control with a passion. If you don't deal with it immediately, you're always going to have a problem. Good, let's start here. Took the head, uh, head off, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. Reloading. Adding one more to the list. 
we will need to first Let's show them what we can work do. with her. Smells like trouble. Head is already off. Ready. Rest I've takes substantial this. damage. And she's down. Fantastic. Very good. Have mercy. Good, we're on a roll. There is a worm on the other Settle side open. here, though. Guess it's my turn. Ready to go to work. Just in case. Can't, unfortunately, can't make it all the way there. We can overwatch, and that's about it. Reason for instinct. Yeah, the newcomer though has done a fantastic job, I mean, just due to her positioning. The technician took a lot of heat, but also uh, was able to effectively, yeah, shred a lot of armor and uh, majorly contribute to killing the siren. Good, now, finally, for healing. Unfortunately, we do have some residual acid damage that What's doesn't the plan? seem to go away. Double tap will very much double tap this guy. Uh, maybe not. Big biter moves up. Overwatches. Okay, cool. Reloading. Well, I would say we're also overwatching. Area so covered. far, Vanessa has done a good job here. Regaining action points because we can use Let's it for war cry and so on. And Anthony, then not getting past me. Just holds the position here. I'll keep my eyes open. I'm surprised uh, that the New Jericho guys have definitely held their uh, position much better. If I remember, kind of them attacking the Skrilla, right? Uh, they were down to one New Jericho agent as we arrived here. It seems that uh, they're actually doing reasonably well. Granted, the way that the AI plays, they wouldn't be able to completely uh, kill the enemy. 
Just because they're sending in the absolute open, like Muppets. Almost. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see <clears throat> that they are stronger. Like four or five people here this time. Good, Vanessa. I've got this. Deals a proper amount of damage here. Perfect shot. Line enough. Uh, failed to connect there. Yes. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting rid of these worms. Justin moves over, trying to get to that assault uh, soon. Full recover. Already there. And Anthony. Then not getting past me. Okay, cool. I didn't sign up for this. <sighs> Interesting. That was a really long shot, my friend. But I tell you what, we can do that as well. And we got sniper rifles. All right. Kyle, not so much of a keen eye this time. All right, maybe our snipers aren't as accurate after all. Got this. Eyes peeled. Huh. Damn it. Luck. Man my way. Oh boy. Uh, we're out of ammunition. Channel open. But I think overall Targeting. that guy is already dead. That was a kill. Cool. All right. So, we saved the Haven. Very good. We got a sniper. We got a neural pistol. Those are the pistols that allow us to capture aliens. And have revealed the location of their colony. Cool. So, where is the colony? Damn. Yet another colony. Hmm. Yeah, gotta deal with that sooner than later. So, we do have the new pistol, and I would say... Let's use our sniper Kyle Kenai here uh, with the Neuro Pistol. Just dazing the enemy. That'll be good. And whilst we're at it, I figured might as well 
give him the New Jericho Gauss handgun because that deals more shredding damage. All right, Incy Vinci. Already talked about it. We wanted instead of that a sidearm. And we also got the New Jericho missile launcher. Unfortunately, can't update the missiles yet. So for the time being, we have like one missile left and almost enough for a qu uh, close quarter ev uh, evade. Uh, Kyle Kenai finally would have enough for a second class or we're going for weak spot. Hmm. I think weak spot is not a bad idea. Disabling a body part uh, also removes the armor, but I think if we could give, uh, get him berserker training, that'll be quite helpful. The other option is I think heavy. Um, heavies were the ones that had, um, yeah, that had inspire great ability. I really like that. And heavy said war cry, but since he's not close enough to the enemy, yes, the inspire ability would work, but uh, there are also a couple of other things with, uh, with Berserker that I like. Namely, it'll be a great option to be immune to mind control. You could also go into Infiltrator and really build kind of a stealth uh, stealth version. I think for now we're going Berserker. And Ignore Pain, by the way, is also a fantastic option. Not only due to mind control, but also because the prime weapon can still be wielded. So we'll save for that. Uh, but Armor Break, I immediately take. It's just such a great ability. Good, same deal here. Uh, we got an Assault. Just double checking. Um, Incy Vinci is a Sniper. We got another Sniper plus Berserker here. Oh, I, I went for the same combo. Well, it's a good one. So we got two Snipers. Uh, we got a normal Assault. And now the question is, what do we want to do with that? Um, assault plus Heavy isn't, uh, isn't bad at all. Here we had Berserker Heavy, also a really nice combination. I like that. And the question really is, I mean, the assault class can stand on its own oftentimes. Um, we're having the technician here. We do have a couple more in frozen circuit. Namely, another, ber another Berserker and another Priest. So, I mean, one of the things that we could do, theoretically speaking, is we could go and make him a, a Priest, just to have kind of a second, uh, second Priest. And elsewise, just be a very solid shooter. Onslaught is good as well, fits into kind of uh, the idea of that priest. We could get heavy weapons later if we wanted, and he has healer. That uh, would also give us bonus, he uh, bonus willpower if we wanted to go about it. I tell you what, I will test 
that um, that priest option having mind control as an additional option definitely is helpful so is induced panic we would need to modify his head but that's not a that's not a bad thing he's in team number three which is also a team that would benefit from the mutagens sooner or later good not enough for the others to level up but yeah we're okay for now cool so this team itself had worked very well unfortunately i think it's not strong enough to take an entire pandoran lair that's just not happening so what are we generally going to do with this team uh, what are the options that we need to be done on that side of uh, the globe seeking the firebird I think that could be something that the team is actually doing. So yeah, let's move over. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. And we just found something that they can do, um, which is defend the Haven. Uh, yeah, well, let's defend the Haven over here. Operators have discovered a location in an abandoned lab. The doors appear to have remained sealed for the last 20 years. Unfortunately, it's impossible to uh, ascertain the lab's purpose from the outside. Let's break in. We got 150 tech and a lot of uh, research. That is fantastic. Good, very good. Research complete. All right, finally, we can build these new weapons. And the missiles aren't even that expensive. All right, uh, fantastic. So far, that works out well. Let's just double check what everybody is doing. Helios 5 here. It's just waiting, and that's not what we wanted. Who's sitting on Helios 5? Yeah, both of them are fine. Research complete. Good, we have theoretically the option for an speeder. I think these were the ground support vehicles that also had tentacles that you could use in order to drain life. So that's not bad. So Helios 5 will move over to uh, Mendicore 1. Tiamat 2 wanted to do the exploration side. We wanted to do the antediluvian runes next. Had one down here as well. And a mission over there. So actually quite a bit to do for Manicore 1. Manicore 3 is defending the havens. Manicore 4 is not yet loading up an entire team. We could use that soon-ish because I think we're ready. More or less, uh, we got already a couple of level 5 characters here. How far are the level 4 characters away? Well, they're getting there. They're almost level 5. And that would be a pretty decent level for now. 
They're just getting a lot of experience where they currently are. A Swedrian Haven is under attack. Hmm, well that is not good. I think uh, what we will do is we move over and defend it. everything here no more trading options uh, two four nine is not a good trade Two for ten is good, two for twelve is fantastic. Good, given that there is almost nothing left for us to explore, might as well fly back, load in the operators and start missions. I mean, look, we could get this one here, an unexplored site. But that is quite far down there. We have too much food, we don't need to trade for food, we need to trade food away. Good, and that will be our next mission yet again, another haven under attack, but we're getting handsomely rewarded, so that should be fine. Very soon, uh, this here should be good as well. So the idea with uh, Mendico 1 is we're flying essentially to that exploration site next after we've traded down here and we're doing the exploration site then we're doing that. Um, for Mendico uh, 3 defense maybe start the excavation up here we don't need to do that ourselves but starting all of the excavations and just trading and hovering around uh, on there would be helpful we know there is another structure here maybe we're strong enough to do it I don't know we'll see how uh, how this here works uh, the defense problem that I'm having is six uh, soldiers are already a push to uh, to do a Pandorian lair with them, but six soldiers with suboptimal equipment and so on, that's just making it a bit more difficult. Born in the USA, almost has the mutation lab ready, which would be fantastic. We're also gaining resources. I'm wondering whether or not I should get more um of the of uh, the archaeology ruins or archaeology labs 
plus four. I don't know if it is a lot or a little. So yeah, we, we do have a flight pattern here. Take that mission, take that one. And then we're continuing getting all of the other ruins done whilst the other team is just defending. Maybe the other team can destroy the hive. Just gotta play it by ear. So then on the other side of the globe, we do have a haven defense, which we're hopefully going to be there in time. We're loading up the second team. And I think we'll do that uh, maze 2 mission. Sounds like a decent plan f as a starter. By the way, just for clarification, I think we can do a mystery pillar here. Good. I'm wondering uh, whether or not we ever land here in Alaska snow. And potentially satellite uplink by the way. It's a bit of a of a miss that I haven't really bought that yet. But yeah, having that satellite uplink is absolute mandatory and that already ate up a lot of our resources. So yeah, this uh, this base here that would be the next uh, the next one. And frankly, we could use more bases, more central bases here. We could uh, could open this base, and this base, and this base. There's another one down here, and one down here. So uh, it's, yeah. Having a base just to land there and letting soldiers rest is actually quite helpful. But before we are opening all of those bases, we do have one here. And I like that South Asian uh, base that gives us access to uh, the entirety of Australia. Before we're opening that, I think I would rather open another one down here. or at least one in Mexico, Central America, potentially rather over here, so that we scan South America. I bet you once we scan, there are many, many, many more things that we could explore. But once we open yet another base in South America, that would mean even more soldiers. And that's sort of messing with my plan. We uh, set out the plan to build the aircrafts, they are almost done. If you look at manufacturing, the heel is the last one. Uh, and then we do have enough for the teams to kind of go around. The next bigger uh, topic would be to equip all of the soldiers because part of why I don't feel comfortable, for instance, going with the soldiers into the Pandorian Lair is many of them just don't have the necessary firepower. And that is sometimes grenade launchers, sometimes just equipment. Uh, so I need to invest resources there. I hope that with the mutagens we can compensate some of the armor uh, resources so that will make that part much uh, cheaper and uh, all of this here or some of it will just go away and then instead of doing that I would uh, I would really focus on kind of the absolute important items here. Couple, a couple of them uh, would be medkits. We're, we're actually having enough, but a couple of them would be proper sniper uh, rifles. Although we're actually, funnily enough, okay on the sniper rifles. But um, for instance, the laser uh, laser weapons we could do a lot better. Then grenades, as you can see, purification grenades definitely would uh, would be helpful. Um, and the Goliath um, 
the Goliath uh, rocket or grenade launchers, they definitely would be helpful. Or uh, hell, two cannons, just stuff that melts armor. Uh, and we don't have enough of uh, this yet. Plus, some of the classes, such as the technician, don't even have uh, their uh, their drones. So I would need to build uh, for that as well. The watcher is here in particular in some of uh, the arms. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out and play by ear, but I will need quite a bit of, um, of armor. Interesting armor here, by the way. So we'll figure it out once uh, that once uh, we're getting there. Do we have? Now nah, I'll figure that out. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, it's getting late. Uh, a lot of rambling and thought process here. Next up, we defend uh, the disciples of Anu. If you are a big fan of Deci uh, disciple of Anu. Uh, use one of your newly attached tentacles and uh, slither it over to the like button, press it and see you in two days. Bye bye!